Hey, you're watching Candid with Candace. And this video, we're going to talk about, this time we're going to talk about the constitutional amendment that's happening um, here in November 2019. So people always think we have an off cycle for elections. We, we really ever, <laughs> we really don't ever have an off cycle because there is a constitutional amendment happening on November 5th. Um, I, the first day of early voting is October 21st, Monday. And then uh, the election day is November 5th. So there are 10 amendments for the constitutional amendment that's happening. So basically, changes to the Constitution for the state of Texas has to be voted on by the voters. So it's not actually like candidates or things like that. Um, so I'm going to go over just a couple. So the first is a, they're all called propositions. So prop, prop one, um, this one is actually uh, the constitutional amendment is going to permit judges municipal judges to hold um multiple um judgeships in different cities so the reason that's important is that a lot of smaller cities it's hard to get a municipal judge a full-time judge and currently um they have to get special permission so this is going to change the amendment so that municipal judges can operate in some of these smaller cities they can do two or three cities and they might not work for them full-time but maybe they have a, a you know a day of court in one city not something you would see in Dallas, Fort Worth, or some of these larger cities, but some of these smaller cities, it's hard to, to get a judge. Um, prop four. So this is probably the only proposition that you'll hear a lot of debate on. So it actually reads the constitutional amendment prohibiting the, imp the imposition of an individual income tax, including a tax on the individual shares of partnerships or their income. So basically, we do not have individual income tax in the state of Texas for individuals. Um, lots of states do. This will require two-thirds of the House and the Senate and uh, a majority from the Texas voters. The reason that's different is currently it requires a majority from the House and the Senate. So basically, this makes it a little bit harder to implement uh, income, personal income tax for Texas residents. Prop 7 is an amendment allowing increased distributions to the available school fund. So basically this would allow the general land office, the state board of education and other entities um, to double the amount of revenue they can provide to the available school fund each year. Um, and this is for materials, classroom materials, and then funds for Texas schools. And then prop eight, this is the creation of a flood infrastructure fund to assist in the financing of drainage, flood mitigation, and flood control projects. Um, this would create a, a Texas water, basically a Texas water development board. And you see lots of cities, lots of states have that, and it's a separate entity. So, um, And then also, so and all Texans will have the 10 props on their ballot. But then there are some cities or municipalities or... Um, house districts that will have elections going on as a special election. So you'll see House District 100, um, and that is a special election that's happening because um, Mayor Eric Johnson, who was formerly state rep, ran for mayor, so they vacated his seat. Therefore, it's a special election to determine his seat. Um, and then House District 148, there's another special election for someone that vacated, and then House District 28. And then there's a special election going on for the State Board of Education. So then the State Board of Education also has a special election going on. And there's one lone Democrat running, Eliz Markowitz. And there are about six Republicans running for that. So basically in that um, scenario, there is um, basically the top vote getter um, will determine the outcome of that seat. So we want people to go and uh, vote in the constitutional election. If you happen to have a special election on your ballot, that is great. We need you to vote in that as well. Be an educated voter. There are plenty of websites, plenty of things out there. I was reading from the Texas Tribune on what we're actually voting on. Um, no, it's not a presidential. No, it's not for candidates. So um, people tend to skip this one. But this one's really important because it's deciding the Texas Constitution. So um, this is Candid with Candice. You're watching um, how do we educate the next generation of voters? How do we get more people engaged? And voting is the great equalizer. and We need more people to vote, even in the boring constitutional elections. So have a good one.
So you were watching Candle with Candace, and today's topic we're going to talk about paid family leave and why is this not a national policy um, and it's something that we all need 